Hello, everyone. Good, how are you? No, not at all. Um, I, I envisioned it as being an opportunity to work on my ability to evaluate players, um, but I, I had no intention of, of trying to get in with the Bruins. Um, my mentor for the program was Ryan Nato, who's the Associate Director of Amateur Scouting. Um, and we, we spent a lot of time together, you know, over Zoom and phone calls. And um, I, I think he, he liked my eval reports on players and my ability to talk hockey. So I think that's how, how we got in, into those conversations. Uh, yeah, there were a couple of players in there. Um, it was mostly, you know, it was a combination of, of amateur players, of pro players, different positional players. Um, so it wasn't necessarily helping them with this draft class. It was more giving us, as mentees, different players to work on. Yeah, it's cool to see the different avenues that people in player development roles have taken. Um, Jamie Langenbrunner doing um, personnel, and um, you know, you, you see. Chris Kelly coaching. So it's cool that there are a lot of different avenues, but I'm just right now focused on doing this job the best that I can do it. I suppose every evaluator has their tendencies and preferences. So when you walk into the room and you're trying to uh, evaluate, what, what do you look for? Like, maybe a clean slate as you go in and you see the player, but as they develop, what catches your eye? Yeah, I like to to let players sort of come to me. Um, so whatever their strengths are, I try to let that come through first. For me, I appreciate skating and good skaters. And so, so that's probably the first thing that I'm looking for. Um, but after that, it's aside from compete and work ethic, it's sort of the, the strengths that those players have and if those stand out. Um, well, I mean, it's an honor to work for the Bruins regardless of, of gender. I, I recognize the impact that it has um, or hopefully has on, on young girls and women in hockey. Um, so it, there are, uh, luckily, there, I'm not a trailblazer. There are a lot of women right now in leadership roles in the NHL and in other um, development roles. Um, so I, I like to think of myself as a reinforcer, just that that's going to continue and, and I definitely won't be the last. When it comes to development, Um, I can let you know in six months. <laughs> um, a, a few players. I think so, some of the, the, the guys who were just drafted, um, Matthew Patra, I like him a lot. Um, I, I think that, obviously, John Beecher's out there, and he looks great. Ty Gallagher looks good, but... Um, you know, this is my first week on the ice with these guys and really my first time seeing them play. So I'm going to leave some of that assessment up to Jamie and, and Adam and the guys upstairs for, for now. Mm -hmm. You obviously played and your sister played as well. How Nobody in my family was playing when I started. I, my older sister was a figure skater or was figure skating. And I, I think I was two years old when I was begging to get on the ice. And so I started figure skating. Um, I guess I wasn't that graceful because they pushed me over to hockey pretty quickly. I don't remember it that way, but that's what I'm told. Coming from the point of view, yeah, and being a player there and then going to player development along with that, how has the transition been this week from point of view to the Boston Bruins organization? Um, it, you know, it's different and it's, and it's also the same in, in a lot of ways. So in the ways that it's different, I mean, it's just, it's a different style of game. It's a, it's a different level, obviously, I think. Um, in terms of the development piece, that's what I was doing at Quinnipiac and trying to do, and, and we're trying to help players just be the best that they can be. What's the phone been like this week? Are there people reaching out? Uh, <laughs> it, it's not as busy as you think it was. I'm, can someone call me, please? Uh, <laughs> send me some messages. No, uh, it's, it's good. My family's, uh, a lot of them are from this area, uh, my dad's side mostly. They're all they're all from Massachusetts, so they're all really excited that I'm that I'm here. 
Jodiel, um, what advice would you give young women who are looking to pursue a career in professional sports? I think it's just, if you're loving it, keep doing it. Um, and there are going to be more and more avenues. Uh, when I was a kid, I, I, there weren't women doing, you know, up here doing press conferences for NHL teams or working for NHL teams. Um, but it, it didn't also, that didn't limit me. So I think the people who are, just love me around the game and, and want to continue working the game will find their ways to the NHL, to the men's side, you know, if that's what they desire. Thank you, guys.